Hello, Falcons. This is Mrs. Jarrett. I am going to read to you a fable today. A fable is a story typically using animals that um, talks about a moral, gives you a moral to the story. Anyway, this one is called Cornelius. It's written by Leo Leone and illustrated by him as well and published by Dragonfly Press. So here he is right here, Cornelius. When the eggs hatched, the little crocodiles crawled out onto the river beach, but Cornelius walked out upright. So typically, crocodiles or alligators walk on all four legs, but Cornelius walked on two feet instead of four. As he grew taller and stronger, he rarely came down on all fours. He saw things no other crocodile had ever seen before. I can see far beyond the bushes, he said. But the other said, what's so good about that? I wonder what else he's able to do that the other crocodiles aren't. I can see the fish from above, Cornelius said. So what? said the others annoyed. Why do you think they're annoyed with Cornelius? And so one day Cornelius angrily decided to walk away. So Cornelius can do something the other crocodiles can't do and the other crocodiles aren't very nice to, to him, are they? Do you think maybe they're a little bit jealous that Cornelius can do something they can't? And because they're jealous, they're being annoyed. And that upset Cornelius, didn't it? Mm. It was not long before he met a monkey. I can walk upright, Cornelius said proudly. And I can see things far away. And hang from my... Oops, missed a page. I can stand on my head, said the monkey. And hang from my tail, Cornelius was amazed. Could I learn to do that, he asked. Of course, replied the monkey. All you need is a lot of hard work and a little help. So it looks like the monkey is helping Cornelius. Cornelius worked hard at learning the monkey's tricks, and the monkey seemed happy to help him. When he finally learned to stand on his head and hang from his tail, Cornelius walked proudly back to the river beach. Oh my, do you suppose he's going to let the other crocodiles know what he can do now? I wonder if the other crocodiles are going to be impressed, or just more annoyed. Look, he said, I can stand on my head. Hmm. So what? Was all the others said. Oh my. I bet that hurt Cornelius' feelings again. And I can hang from my tail, said Cornelius. But the others just frowned and repeated, so what? Disappointed and angry, Cornelius decided to go back to the monkey. But just as he had turned around, he looked back. And what did he see? There, the others were, falling all over themselves, trying to stand on their heads and hang from their tails. Cornelius smiled. Life on the river beach would never be the same again.
What do you think he's going to do? Do you think he's going to go back and offer to help his friends? I think he did. That end. It's always a good reminder that when you can do something different or, or special that other people can't do, it's good to be proud of your accomplishments. But you might want to remember if someone sees a little, seems a little grumpy with you, then maybe they'd like to be able to do it too. Anyway, Falcons, I hope you all have a great day. Until the next time.